Hey, how are you? Hope you're well. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Josh. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited and ready to read another fun story. I love books. I love stories. Do you? Yeah, we do. Okay, today we're going to be reading The Sailor Dog by Margaret Wise Brown, illustrated by Garth Williams. Get comfortable wherever you are, because we're about to delve into story time. All right, The Sailor Dog. If you like reading these stories, please subscribe, click that bell below, and you can visit the page and read these stories whenever you like. Okay, let's go. Born at sea in the teeth of a gale, the sailor was a dog. Scuppers was his name. Look. He's on the boat. There's Scuppers. After that, he lived on a farm. But Scuppers, born at sea, was a sailor. And when he grew up, he wanted to go to sea. So he went to look for something to go in. He found a little submarine. All aboard, they called. It was going down under the sea. But Scuppers did not want to go under the sea. He found a little car. All aboard, they called. It was going over the land. But Scuppers didn't want to go over the land. So you got submarines that go under the sea, and stay underwater. But they can sit on the top as well. Or oh, he's trying to go in a car, but that's on land. That's not out on the, on the ocean, on the, on the top, floating. Hmm. Scuppers, trying to find his way back out to the ocean. Scuppers was a sailor, and he wanted to go to sea. So Scuppers went over the hills and far away until he came to the sea. Over the hills and far away was the ocean, and on the ocean was a ship. The ship was about to go over the sea. It blew all its whistles. All aboard, they called. All ashore that are going ashore. All aboard. So some are hopping off the ship, going ashore. And he's saying all aboard for the ones that are going out to sea. And Scuppers is on the move. He wants to get on that boat. So Scuppers went to sea. Ah, the ship began to move slowly along. The wind blew it. In his ship, Scuppers had a little room. In his room, Scuppers had a hook for his hat, and a hook for his rope, and a hook for his handkerchief, and a hook for his pants, and a hook for his spyglass, and a place for his shoes, and a bunk for a bed to put himself in. He has a nifty little little boat room, and, and look, he's got his sails up, so the sails catch the wind and help the boat move. All night, Scuppers threw the anchor into the sea, and he went down to his little room. So he tosses the anchor, so the boat will stay still, and then he goes for a little sleep in his room. He put his hat on the hook for his hat, and his rope on the hook for his rope, and his pants on the hook for his pants, and his spyglass on the hook for his spyglass. And he put his shoes under the bed and got into his bed, which was a bunk, and went to sleep. There's little scuppers there, he's got his spyglass hanging, his pants, his jacket, shoes under there. There he goes, having a little nap. Next morning he was shipwrecked. Too big a storm blew out of the sky. The anchor dragged, so the ship crashed into the rocks. There was a big hole in it. He was washed up onto the beach. It was foggy and rainy. There were no houses and scuppers needed a house. But on the beach was lots and lots of driftwood. And he found an old rusty box stuck in the sand. Maybe it was treasure. Do you think it might be treasure? Ooh, let's find out. It was a treasure to Scuppers. It was an old-fashioned toolbox with hammers and nails and an axe and a saw. Everything he needed to build himself a house. So Scuppers started to build a house all by himself out of driftwood. He built a door and a window and a roof and a porch and a floor all out of driftwood. And he found some red bricks and built a big red chimney. And then he lit a fire. And the smoke went up the chimney. He's built himself a house with a fireplace and a chimney. Very resourceful. Then the stars came out and he was sleepy. So he built a bed of pine branches. 
and he jumped into his deep green bed and went to sleep. As he slept, he dreamed. If he could build a house, he could mend the hole in the ship. Very true. So the next day at low tide, he took his toolbox and waded out and hammered planks across the hole in his ship. At last, the ship was fixed. So he sailed away until he came to a seaport in a foreign land. By now his clothes were all worn and ripped and torn and blown to pieces. His coat was torn, his hat was blown away, and his shoes were all worn out, and his handkerchief was ripped. Only his pants were still good. Poor Scuppers has been through some events, hasn't he? Yeah. So he went to shore to buy some clothes at the Army and Navy store, and some fresh oranges, he bought a coat, he found a red one too small, he found a blue one just right. It had a had brass buttons on it. Cool, look at him, looks all stylish there. He's got new clothes. <laughs> then he went to buy a hat, he found a purple one too silly, he found a white one just right. He needed shoes, he found some yellow ones too small, he found some red ones too fancy, and he found some white ones just right. Here he is with his new hat on, with his new shoes on, with his new coat on, with his shiny brass buttons. There he is there. He has a can of Polish, a polish, I'm sorry, and a cloth to keep them shiny. There you go, he's got to polish those shoes, keep them shiny and clean all the time. And those buttons too. And he has a new clean handkerchief, and a new rope, and a bushel of oranges. And now Scuppers wants to go back to his ship. So he goes there, he's all stocked up. And at night when the stars came out, he took one last look through his spyglass and went down below to his little room. And he hung his new hat on the hook for his hat. He hung his spyglass on the hook for his spyglass. And he hung his new coat on the hook for his coat and his new handkerchief on the hook for his handkerchief. And his pants as well. Do you think he hung it on the hook for his pants? Yeah, definitely. And his new rope on the hook for his rope. That's right. And his new shoes he put under his bunk. And himself he put in his bunk. And here he is where he wants to be. A sailor sailing the deep green sea. And he is scuppers. Looking through his spyglass. What could he see? Land ho! Like a pirate. Oh, and here's his song. I'll sing it to you. I am Scuppers the Sailor Dog. I'm Scuppers the Sailor Dog. I can sail in a gale, right over a whale, under full sail, in a fog. I'm Scuppers the Sailor Dog. I'm Scuppers the Sailor Dog. With a shake and a snort, I can sail into port, under full sail, in a fog. Cool little song. Nice. Maybe sing that one at home if you like. Just rewind a little bit, you know, again and, and sing along if you like. There's a nifty little song at the end of the story. Scuppers song. That's the Sailor Dog. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Thanks so much for reading it. That's all we have time for. Bye for now, but definitely not forever. If you like these, please subscribe. Click that button below, the big bell, and you'll be able to visit the page whenever you like. All right. Get going. See you again for another story soon. Bye bye.